The writing was on the wall for A.J. Brown to have a breakout third-year campaign. Derrick Henry's getting a little bit older, the run-crazy offensive coordinator Arthur Smith had left for Atlanta, and signing Julio Jones hinted at a commitment to upgrading the Titans' passing game. Well, through Week 6, A.J. Brown is the wide receiver 65 in PPR scoring. So is he somebody that you should be looking to trade away, somebody you should be looking to acquire, or somebody that you should simply hold on to and hope for the best? I'm Dave Kluge with Football Guys, and I am here to help you out. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page at youtube.com slash football guys to see these quick hitters coming at you throughout the entire offseason. We knew that the Titans were going to run a lot during this offseason, so why was A.J. Brown being so hyped up? Brown is just 24 years old and started his career with back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons. Since the NFL-AFL merger, only seven other wide receivers have accomplished that feat, and we're looking at Odell Beckham Jr., Randy Moss, A.J. Brown, Michael Thomas, Mike Evans, Marquez Colston, Amari Cooper, and John Jefferson. Needless to say, that is some pretty elite company to be a part of. So projecting a career year for him wasn't all that hard. All of our projectors at Football Guys had him penciled in for a minimum of 1,200 yards with a consensus projection of nearly 1,400 yards and 12 touchdowns. If you want to understand just why Brown was projected so much, check out my article from this offseason in the YouTube description. But now, through week six of the 2021 season, A.J. Brown is on pace for just 700 yards and three touchdowns. The biggest thing that held A.J. Brown back through his career was a lack of elite usage. In 30 games, he had only seen nine-plus targets in six of them. In four of those six games, he had 100-plus yards, and he had scored a touchdown in every single one of them. So he's played in five games now this year, and he has already hit that nine-plus target mark twice, in week two and in week six. So let's take a look at how his usage was different in those two games. On the left side, you see the uh, route tree for week two. And on the right side, you see the route tree for week six. In week two, in a different offense, they were trying to utilize him a little bit differently. And they were running him outside a lot more, which isn't really what he's great at. Now, A.J. Brown is a great receiver, but he's not exceptionally big and he's not exceptionally fast. What he does is use his football IQ and his strength to find soft pockets in the defense, catch the ball, and then rip off yards after the catch. He really excels at crossing routes, and that's what you see that they did a lot in week six. It almost seems like they schemed up a game plan specifically tailored to A.J. Brown's strengths as a way to get him right. And that's exactly what happened. He had the most receiving yards of his season so far. And even though he got off to a slow start by not doing much in the first half, he really blew up in the second half, came up with some crucial catches on third down to help the Titans secure a huge upset win over the Buffalo Bills. We have to remember that A.J. Brown is just 24 years old. This is the first time in his NFL career that he has had to learn a new offense. After balling out in the second half of Monday night's game, uh, that was a primetime game that everybody watched, and his price tag probably won't be as cheap as it was last week. But still, I think that there is a massive opportunity to buy low right now on one of the league's league's youngest and brightest stars. What we hoped for going into the season was more volume and more opportunity, and that is exactly what he's seeing. He was knocked out of week three's game with an injury, and then he was limited in week five after missing week four. So overall, he's played just three games where he has seen 65% or more of his team's offensive snaps. And in those games, he has averaged 8.7 targets. For reference, he saw 7.6 targets last season and just 5.3 as a rookie. So looking at his full body of work from this season, we have two games to start off the season in a brand new offense. One game where he was knocked out in the first quarter with an injury, one inactive game, another game where he barely played half of his team snaps, and then this most recent Monday night game against Buffalo where he looked absolutely dominant in the second half. I'm still ranking A.J. Brown as a wide receiver one, and if there's any chance that you could acquire him for cheaper than that on the trade market in your fantasy football league, I think you should pounce on that immediately. The targets and usage are both there. There's some concerns about his health, but I think that the yards and touchdowns will follow with this usage.